Hello everyone, welcome to Fably Connect. In today's video, we are going to learn how to send WhatsApp message for Wix form submission. Now we want that whenever a new form is submitted through Wix forms, automatically a WhatsApp message should be sent to that person who have submitted a form by using Interact. So how we are going to do this process automatically? For that, we will have to integrate both these applications. And for that, we are going to use an integration software Fably Connect. So how we are going to do that? For that, we have Wix forms in our trigger and we have interact in our action. So we will be connecting both of them by using Pabli Connect in such a way that whenever a new form will be submitted in Wix form, automatically the WhatsApp message will be sent to the person who have submitted the form by using interact. And in order to learn the entire process step by step, let me take you all to my screen. So to start with the process, first of all, in our browser, we have to search for pabli.com slash connect. And as we do that, it will take us towards the landing page of this software. Here we can find two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are a new user, you can click on sign up for free to create your free new account in just two minutes. And also at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks to explore this amazing software. Because I'm already an existing user of Pabli Connect, therefore I'm clicking on sign in. And when we do that, we will come on all app section where we can find all the products offered by Pabli. And to create this workflow, we are going to use Pabli Connect. So let's click on access now. So this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. And here we can find all the workflows which we have created. And to create a new workflow, we will have to click on create workflow option given on right corner. So let's click on it. And now a dialog box has appeared in front of us, which is asking us to provide this workflow a suitable name. So let's give it a name. And send WhatsApp message for Wix form submission. And after giving the name, let's click on create. So here we can find two windows open in front of us. First is trigger and the other is action. So what are trigger and actions? Trigger and actions are the basic principles on which the entire workflow of any automation runs. Here we can have only one trigger in any workflow, but we can have multiple actions as we want. So let's understand trigger and action with this workflow. So here we are going to take Wix forms in our trigger and interact in our action. Because we want that whenever a new form is submitted through Wix forms, automatically by using the response of that form, automatically a WhatsApp message should be sent to that person who have submitted the form by using Interact. So our trigger will be Wix form submission and our action will be sending WhatsApp message through Interact. So let's start with the workflow. First of all, we have to select our trigger application and which is going to be Wix form. So let's select it. And our trigger event will be new form submission. And now here we can find that a webhook URL is provided to us along with some instructions which we have to follow in order to connect Wix with Pabli Connect. So let us follow the steps. For that, let me take you to my Wix account. So this is the dashboard of our Wix account. Now from the left side, we have to go on automations. And after coming on it, we have to click on new automation. So let's click on it. And from here, we have to click on start from scratch. So as we do that, it is asking us to select trigger and action as we have done in Pabli Connect. So let's select our trigger first. So our trigger will be Wix forms and our trigger event will be form submitted. Okay, so let's select the form. So now it is saying select which form trigger this automation. So I do not want to select any form, but I want to select specific forms for this workflow. And now I am turning on this don't limit the trigger every time. So this was our trigger. Now let's move on to the action. So we have to select our action from here. So which will be sent via webhook. Okay. The request type should be post and the payload type will be application JSON. And now we have to paste the URL which we have received from Pabli Connect here. So let's just copy it again and we will paste it over here. Okay, done. And after selecting all keys and values, we have to click on activate. So one more thing we have left that we have to select the form also, which we want to publish. So, so we'll click this plus sign and here we can find two options of the form. First is contact and the next is subscription. So I want to select this contact form. And now after selecting it, we'll click on OK. And simply we'll click on activate. And it is asking us to provide this automation a name so let us give the name as whatsapp automation and then click on save so it is showing your new automation is now active and we can see that our automation is active over here so now what we have to do let me take you back to public connect and here it is showing waiting for webhook response that means now we have to do a test submission in order to capture the response over here in public connect so how we are going to do that by filling up the form which we have created so let me take you to the form 
This is the form named as contact form and here we are going to fill the details one by one in order to submit the response and capture it in Paply Connect. So let's start entering dummy details. First of all, it is asking for the name. So let me give the first name as demo user and a dummy email. Let us say, okay. And let us give a random phone number also. And the address could be dummy street. And because this is a contact form, so we can type a message which we want to send here in this field so i am typing a random dummy message over here for now so now let's click on submit so our form is submitted now let's go back to public connect and check whether we have received the response there or not so yes here we have received the response with the same details which we have entered in the form so now let's move on to our next step which will be our action step so our action step here is sending the message to this person who have submitted the form through Wix forms, okay. For sending the WhatsApp message, we are going to use Interact. So our action application will be Interact. Let's select it. And our action event will be Send WhatsApp Template Message. Click on Connect. And from the two options, let's select Add New Connection. And as we do that, it is asking us to provide API key. So from where we are going to find that API key, for that we have to go on this link. And here we can find that the secret key is provided to us here. So let's copy it and paste it after that simply click on save and we can find that our interact account is connected with public connect so let's move on and enter the details which are required here first is the country code and the phone number so if we have received the country code and phone number in separated format so then we have to enter them separately in these fields but because we have received the response from the form submission along with the country code so therefore we are going to use this field of full phone number here okay so let's map the phone number from a previous step which is wix form submission because we want that this workflow should run smoothly and capture the details of each and every form submission automatically without any manual process so therefore we are mapping the data now let's select our previous step and here from the given options we have to select the phone number and it's mapped now the next it is asking for the template code name. So let me show you the template which I have created in Interact for this workflow. So this is our Interact account and by going on the templates option, we can find three sections over here. So we have to come on active section and here we can find that a new template named as Wix form is activated over here which I have recently created for this workflow. And for that, I have used the category as marketing and the language as English. And I have kept the header as none, but you can select any of the options given over here, text, image, video, or document. Now for the body, I have used two variables. First is for name and the other is for company's name. Okay, so I have used a message as hello, we have got your response through form submission. Thank you for contacting us. And the two variables will be covered with name and the company name. So this is the template which we are going to use in this workflow. And now let's go back to Babli Connect. So it is asking for the template code name. So from where we are going to find this template code name. For that we have to again go on Interact account. And from the top URL we can find that this is the template code. Okay. Wix underscore form so we will copy it from here this will be our template code and we will paste it over here and now the next is asking for language code so i have used the language for my template as english so the code for english is en okay so let me copy this en from here and then i will simply paste it over here for any other language you can go on this link and you can find the code for various languages okay so let's move on to a next step which is our body variable because we have not used header values so we can ignore this field for now let's enter the variable values so i have used two variables and here the format of entering values for variable is given so we have to basically enter the values by using comma and the first variable is for name. So I am going to map the name from our previous step. So this is the first name. So let us map it. The second one is company name. So I do not want to change the name of the company with each and every response. Therefore, I am going to use static mapping here. So therefore, I am going to enter it manually because I want that the company name should be static. Okay, done. Now we have to click on save and send test request. But before that, because I have used a dummy phone number in the form submission, therefore to show you the real message, I am going to use a real phone number over here. Done. And now we'll click on save and send test request.
So the status is message queued for sending via interact. Now let's go and check on WhatsApp whether we have received the response there or not. So this is my WhatsApp account. And yes, we can find that we have received the message with the same body which we have used in our interact template. So it's written, hello demo, we have got your response to form submission. Thank you for contacting us, team Pabli. Okay, that means our workflow here is successful. So that means our workflow here is successful. So let's go back to Pabli Connect and summarize what we have done in this workflow. So basically we have taken two steps here, trigger and action. In trigger we have taken Wix forms and in action we have taken interact. So we have connected both of them in such a way by using Pabli Connect that now whenever a new form will be submitted in Wix forms, automatically a WhatsApp message will be sent to that person who have submitted the form by using interact. So these were the steps which we have to follow in order to connect both these applications. So this was it in this video. I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Not only these applications, but you can easily integrate many other applications by using Pabli Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can easily email us at support at the If you want to ask any query, you can easily reach out to us at forum.pabli.com. And if you are having any pricing related issue with Pabli Connect, you can easily reach out to the website given over here. Now, if you find this video helpful in any way, do not forget to share it with your friends. And also, please like our videos and subscribe to our channel to learn more such automations.